I made a video a few months back on how to create a heat map calendar to track your habits in Obsidian. It was a little techy video, you would have to work with the code to make it work. But now there's a new and a better way. As the Obsidian community grows, there's so much added to Obsidian's functionalities. In this video, we'll talk about Contribution Graph Plugin, a plugin that will help you keep track of your habits in Obsidian. If you don't want to miss tips like this, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter Obsidian Ninja. It's not possible to create a new video for every little tips and tricks, so that's where I will share those tips. If you are interested, you can check the link in the description. Now let's get back to the video and learn how you can use the contribution graph plugin in order to track habits in Obsidian. As always, you will have to install the plugin from the Comte plugins. Search for contribution and you will find it here with 2500 downloads currently. This is a recently released plugin. Enable it. You can assign a hotkey for the contribution graph at a heat map command. I have selected control gets over here. Along with the contribution graph, you will need to install this plugin data view because contribution gra graph relies on data view plugin. So if you have not installed the data view plugin, then the contribution graph will not work. Now let's start to create a heat map calendar with the contribution graph plugin. We assign the hotkey. Uh, control H or you can also you can go to command palette and search for contribution graph and here is the command to add a heat map. In the previous video about heat map calendar you had to write the code yourself but this is a visual editor so you don't need to do the coding stuff so it's easy even if you are non techy Now let's go through each and every element of this plugins setup. The first here is the title I can just write habit or let's say i want to use this heat map to track exercise then you have the option to choose the graph type where you have three options git style month track or calendar you can also preview those in here if you choose git style it will look like this which you will find in most github profiles if you choose month track it will look like this and if you choose calendar it will look like this I don't really like the calendar view one, but uh, it's also personal preference. I really like the Git style and month track is also good for certain use cases. I'll use the Git style for this example. Then you have a date range where you can specify the time period for which you want to track. So by default, it is latest 180 days where you can specify either 365 days as well, which means a whole year, 65. And if you go to preview, it will look like this tracking the whole year tracking habits for whole year or you can also specify fixed date latest whole month or latest whole year the best option here is still the default one latest days where you can specify the time period for which you want to track if you want to visualize for the whole year you can choose 365 days or you can choose a smaller uh, date range as well i'll choose the 365 days then you have source where you will have to specify from what source you want to track those habits. For example, if you are using daily notes, then you can specify the daily note folder. I have over here, all the daily notes are in this daily folder, journal folder and daily subfolder. And I can specify that easily. Right, journal and daily subfolder. Then you have the date field where it has the date attribution of the files used for data distribution. By default, it is file creation time. If you are using daily notes to track habits using properties, then you can use the file name, date field format, auto detect. If you are using specific file format, you can specify that format. I'm using simple date format, so it will auto detect it. Then you have the count field where you can specify the properties that you want to track. And you can track only one property at once go to page property this is the exercise tracker so i'll write exercise and it will show autocomplete if you have that particular property in your world then it will uh, show this autocomplete you can choose this property now if i go to preview you can see the boxes are clicked which means the habit was completed for that particular date currently it has 365 days and it is using this style let me go to month track and i'll use 30 days if you go to preview now it will show up like this or you can also choose the latest whole month it's displaying so many months over here 
uh, from 2022 because we have this 30 value the date range we have is latest whole month and the value is 30 so it will display for the past 30 months let me just write one and if i go to preview it will show for march only and i have not added data for march so i'll write two and you'll have this tracker for both february and march i'll keep this right now now you can click on save and you will have this habit tracker over here this is a super simple habit tracker in the github contribution style you can also customize this contribution graph in many ways if you go to reading mode it does not have anything over here but if you go to live preview mode you will have this icon if you hover over this graph you will have this icon which will take you to this visual editor and you can also edit via the code which is a little techy if you don't understand it's always best to do it visually uh, you have this style settings tab where you can specify the title font size let me write 20 you can enable this fill the screen and it will fill it over whole screen right now it is only visible from this area to this area right you can enable the shadow you can uh, choose the background color you can also specify the minimum width and minimum height of these cells then finally you have this option where you can select the theme by default this is the theme but you can also choose different themes like ocean halloween wine etc let me write uh, ocean over here if you go to preview it will look like this click on save and i told you previously you can customize the height and width of these cells easily go to settings and specify the minimum width and minimum height this will be square let me make some rectangles it will look like this so this is a simple way to track your habits by using this contribution graph and this method is best if you want to track habits that have check mark option if i go to daily template you have it here that the exercise property is checkbox property so it only has two values true or false true values will display this color and false values will have no colors now let's create another heat map calendar where we will be tracking the numbers for example in this daily note i have this habit called reading and productivity if you are tracking the number of pages you read every day or number of words you write every day or whatever it is that you are tracking you can use the heat map calendar in order to visualize how you are doing and i feel that this way of approaching habits is really good where you have to at least do something even if you don't have time to read you can at least read one page even if you don't have time to exercise you can at least exercise for five minutes this is based on something called the do something principle and i am really a fan of this i implement that principle in my life as well even if i can't go to the gym and exercise for one hour uh, some days I can still exercise for 10 minutes in home. I can do a body weight workouts like that So this is a really nice approach now if you are tracking habits with numbers like this Then this method will be useful in order to visualize your habits in a heat map calendar I have already created daily notes and added these properties You can see here. I have added the properties now. We want to track these properties I'll go to habit tracker note again and use the command control yet i'll use the reading graph type we'll use git style this time date range let it be 180 it doesn't matter page will be same even if you leave it empty it will not make much difference but it certainly will improve the performance because it doesn't have to source through your whole world but a particular folder then you have date field you can choose file name date field format auto detect count field page property count reading property if you go to preview now you have this click on save go to settings style settings fill the screen and center the title now this looks like this you can change the cell width and height minimum width 18 minimum height 15 now it looks somewhat better and i can still change it now there are only four colors over here you can add as many colors as you want go to settings go to style settings and theme you can choose a different theme let's uh, choose a halloween theme for right now click on save and it's only displaying two colors one is the light color and another is the dark color now you can customize these colors in the settings style settings and you have the cell style rules 
when the value is between 1 and 2 it will display this color 2 and 3 this color 3 and 5 this color 5 and 999 this color if you go to this node the reading property only has two value that is why it is displaying that color now let's uh, create some style rules if i read for 1 to 10 minutes this will be light color 10 to 20 minutes this will be a little dark color 20 to 30 will be this one 30 to 50 you can also add more colors 50 to 100 will be another color if you want to choose a different color palette then you can go to the website such as color hex and you can go to the palettes popular palettes or latest palette or whatever you want and you can choose any of these color palettes that you want for now let's just use the green for values from 50 to 100 click on save and it will look like this the color palette is not good because i use the green color but the tints or shades of the same color will look very good on this contribution graph plugin so this is another way to track habits that has values in it using the heat map calendar now there are a few more things that you can track with this contribution graph plugin the first one here is files created you can create a heat map calendar view of the nodes that you create daily or how many nodes you create on daily i'll use the command palette control h files graph type i'll use the monthly track right now date range let is write 60 source i'll leave it default because we are using this to track files we create daily and the date field here will be file creation time this plugin will automatically retrieve the file creation time of nodes in your obsidian vault and it will do its work and that field auto detect count field default now if you preview here you can see only two cells are filled uh, with a one with a light color and one with a dark color and the reason why is because this is a demo vault and i don't use it frequently all the files were created in this day and then on this day click on save and it will uh, look like this files four files were created on 29th february one on march and 35 on march 6. you can go to style setting again fill the screen background color white enable shadow cell safe you can choose the minimum width minimum height you can select theme or customize the style and you can write the cell style rules uh, what color do you want to show when you have created one to two nodes two to five nodes five to ten nodes 10 to 20 nodes like that click on save now there's one more thing that you can do with this contribution graph plugin that is to track tasks in obsidian if you are using obsidian as a task manager you will find this helpful what you will need to do is again uh, go to command palette or use the hotkey and search for contribution graph add a heat map calendar tasks let's write the name tasks center it git style you can choose anyone i'll just show you how to use the task tracking feature here in the source you will have to specify all tasks or if you want to track tasks from a specific page then you can choose a specific page as well but i'll choose this all task and then you can create filter status is completed now this will create a heat map calendar view like this based on the completed tasks how many tasks are completed for that particular period of time you can also use other filters like contains tags etc if you are using tags in tasks this is another really cool way to use the contribution graph plugin in order to visualize the tasks that you have completed over a particular period of time this is a really cool plugin that you can use to track habits that you can use to track the number of nodes that you create daily and track tasks you complete in obsidian this is all for this video i hope you found this video useful if you found this video useful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future have a great day thank you for watching bye bye